Chapter 4's next trailer was just released today and it hides mountains of secrets from new locations, new war reveals, dozens of new theories about the upcoming chapter, and of course the reveal of the next main villain Yarnaby who is not what I was expecting. So today Mob on their channel went ahead and dropped another brand new trailer for Chapter 4 in anticipation for its January release, specifically highlighted around the upcoming character Experiment 1166 or Yarnaby who was revealed last week week in the chapter 4 ARG, and boy does this trailer deliver everything we could have ever wanted and more. The trailer starts off taking place directly after the events of chapter 3, with us speeding down the lift while also hearing the screams of Poppy from the end of the last chapter, before we are engulfed in the red smoke suggesting it will make a return. In the next shot, we see the red smoke flowing from the pipes above as we make our way down to the bottom of the lift, showing the entrance of the chapter 4 location. While walking through in the trailer, we get a top-down view of some other thing appearing to be watching us make our journey throughout the area, then showing our first entrance point called Caves 1C and next to some kind of a hand scanner. As we pass through the cave area, we see the red smoke pipes following behind us along with a mysterious shadowy figure before we make it into this large room with these same pipes that then pan to dozens of piles of destroyed toys. Before next, we get another shot of the same room showcasing the red pipes and this weird red blue and yellow square thing which we've seen plenty of times before in chapter 4's rollout but then mysteriously in the piles of toys suddenly the shadowy figure from earlier comes scurrying down the pile which will matter here in a second in the next shot we continue our journey through a room filled with these red smoke pipes going down a long hallway that lead to the infamous room full of prison cells we saw in some previous chapter 4 screenshots where inside said cells we could see like the rooms in play care red smoke was administered from the tubes into the prison cells more interestingly in the next shot we see ourselves continuing our journey where we catch the attention of a new unrecognizable critter coming towards our path before suddenly being stepped on by another larger mysterious creature we then in the next shot see that there are cctv cameras tracking something down here followed by the player encountering the office live room of the prison through these gates which you might recognize from another one of the chapter 4 screenshots as we keep making our journey a TV can be seen here showing off the CCTV cameras revealing the same puffy creature from before coming directly our way then finally we get a direct view of the player walking towards the lobby where a mysterious TV stands there showing some kind of an eyeball staring directly at us with what appears to be another deceased critter possibly the same one from before on top of it. The eye, after a little bit of moving around, suddenly turns bright red, causing us to turn around and look at our surroundings. We then hear a weird, unfamiliar tune right behind us, and as we look and shine our light, we are given a full reveal of the next Chapter 4 character, Yarnaby, who gives us a smile, before opening his mouth sideways, revealing sharp and decrepit teeth, which is where the trailer ends. Now, there are a lot of things to break down here, but starting with the first and seemingly most prevalent part of this entire trailer after we go down into the lift the first shot is of the red gas in what appears to be some kind of a pipe which continues throughout the rest of the trailer leading into the prison cells where we see it was being used on all of the prisoners presumably just like the children in play care to help them fall asleep and this explains a ton as you might have already noticed but these are the same pipes from the ending of chapter 3 where after we spend the entire game trying to restore power to the gas production zone we move all of the gas from the right to the left and seemingly into the lift to judge from the pipes that head downward shooting it all down into the prison area for a currently unknown reason i don't know why poppy would have us do this but for better or worse this also confirms the gas and unfortunately the gas mask will be returning so we can expect that game mechanic to make a reappearance then in the next shot when we finally reach the ground level you will notice these weird little storage bins with that same square symbol which looks like it's meant to be the same area from the original chapter 4 teaser trailer we got in September that had the same exact storage units and seems to be in that same exact area and in the next shot we see who we would come to find out is yarn to be stalking us from the moment we get off the lift suggesting similar to catnap they are going to be a roaming enemy who isn't in one area and is following us around for the entire duration 
iteration of the game, which I absolutely love to see. In the next scene, which shows the Caves 1C sign and a little blue hand here that says ready, we first off can guess that this little scanner thing is going to be a new gameplay mechanic of some sorts in Chapter 4, where maybe we have to get new hands that are authorized to open these areas, or maybe have to turn on the power to these scanners to open the doors like what we've done in all of the other chapters, I'm not really sure. But this signage here also confirms, as we see later in the trailer, along with the prison, we will also be getting to explore the caves of Playtime Co., giving us another second location, which we get to see more of in this shot, showing piles upon piles of now deceased smiling critters and other toys. Now, these piles could be here for a couple of reasons, both of which are extremely sinister. One, this could have been used as like a dumpster place for the employees and scientists. Like when an experiment would die or fail, they would just dump them out here because they had no way of disposing of them publicly without people finding out and shutting the factory down. Or possibly even more twisted, these could also be the bodies of the toys eaten by Yarnaby and the other inhabitants of the prison. Since we know they've had to have been eating and surviving down here for 10 years before the player comes back to the factory. So it also makes total sense that these could be the bodies of Yarnaby that he has been eating all of this time. I mean, we saw a very similar thing in this other chapter four area from the first teaser with Baba Chops. So it's a pattern at this point. We even get to see a little huggy right here in the pile. So there's your confirmation. He is officially back in chapter four. In the next shot, we see right by the caves is the entrance into the prison, which is again marked by this weird square symbol, which for now I can only really speculate on, but I'm assuming this is meant to be some kind of a private marker or symbol representing the prison. Since we see the icon everywhere inside of the prison and even on documents simply related to the prison, it's stamped with the same symbol. So it's definitely super important. And while again, I don't know for sure what it means, I can only guess that maybe since there was so much classified information in the prison with the experiments and all of the employees working inside of there, this symbol might have been like a secret marker that this was the prison without labeling the documents and having big signs saying prison all over them, which would obviously reveal Playtime Co. was holding creatures down underground, which they obviously wouldn't want people to know. This would also explain why they removed the prison sign, which was supposed to be shown at the end of chapter three originally, because they simply didn't want anyone to know there was a prison hundreds of feet below the factory. Going into the prison area, we get a better look at what the cells where the toys were being contained in looks like, showing they'll have benches and other small objects, but other than that, that's it. So it's not really the greatest living conditions for them. In the next shot, we see an unknown small little critter walking towards the player before being crushed by Yarnaby. And at first, I assumed this character was Catnap. You guys probably did as well. But YouTuber Lightning, fittingly enough, pointed out to me right here that you could see the charm of this critter is in the shape of a lightning and cloud, and their hair is poked up on the top and over here on the right, which appears to be a plush version of the nightmare critter Poe, who shares the same charm and hair formations in their design, which is really cool, but it's kind of sad to see Poe get a whopping three seconds of screen time before being killed off and put on the TV at the end of the trailer. In the next shot, we see some CCTVs moving and following either us or Yarnaby around the factory, and this could suggest there is somebody moving the cameras and is trying to watch us, especially since in the recent story so far videos, we learned Harley Sawyer has been watching us through the cameras the entire time. Then finally, of course, we see the really weird ITV thing before we meet our boy Yarnaby, who, by the way, I just have to say, has an almost perfect design. They have a perfect medium of both cute as a toy and scary as a monster. Mob definitely killed it with this design. And speaking on this final scene, there are a lot of confusing elements here to break down. First off, there's the eyeball, which seems to look directly at us before suddenly turning red, which I guess indicated us to look back behind ourselves, seeming like possibly this eye was able to track Yarnaby and alert us of his presence somehow. And this gives me a ton of questions lore-wise, because we've been seeing over the past ARGs a bunch of references to cult-like all-seeing eye figures, seeming like there is some kind of religion or something going around the factory, which this could possibly be related to. Maybe it's meant to be symbolism that Yarnaby can see everything because we see them following us around throughout our entire journey, but I'm not 
not really sure. And in terms of what is going on with Yarnaby, who has finally been revealed, he looks like he's, of course, meant to be some kind of a yarn monster and doesn't really appear to be based on any kind of animal like we were expecting. He does sort of have a mane made of yarn and some kinds of claws on his feet, similar to something like a lion, but otherwise he is a completely original design, which is honestly perfect. And in terms of how he will work in the game, as we mentioned throughout the trailer, he appears to be a stalking type of enemy who follows us around not just through the prison or the caves, but throughout the entire lower floor before confronting us at the very end, which is revealed through his own little tune that plays when he's right behind us. This stalking nature and the little tune that plays here seems to me like Yarnaby is going to be a roaming villain who follows us around, of course, as we mentioned, and possibly this distorted song we hear right before spotting him could be something akin to like Ballora's game mode from Sister Location, where we had to listen to her jingle to hear if she was close or far away from us at any given time. I imagine, or at least am hoping Yarnaby works somewhat similar, because that would be insanely cool and really scary, especially since we've wanted a roaming enemy in the game like that for so long. And what I also find interesting is the shape of his head when he shows off his teeth and mouth. Since if you've been keeping up with the Chapter 4 ARG, we know that Yarnaby really had this odd obsession with toys' heads, trying to constantly pop them off and swap them around with each other for a currently unknown reason. It seemed to be a crucial and important detail about his personality, but we haven't figured out what it means yet. And using this information, looking at his bigger body design, he has the teeth in the front outer area that look like they are meant to be used for biting, and then there's the inner teeth, which I guess are meant to be used for eating his victims. And this, along with the circular shape of his head, makes me wonder if maybe he was designed to bite the heads off of his victims and trap them inside before consuming them whole encased in his mouth. I don't know, that's my only guess on what this could be for looking at his design. Another really interesting couple questions I have relating to Yarnaby is what even is he? Like, what kind of toy? And how was his bigger body used and created for inside of the prison? Well, for one, it's possible that he was maybe meant to be a music-related toy of some sort for children and maybe played like lullabies or something as a toy. And as for his bigger body, judged from him being super sneaky and being able to travel large distances really fast, I wonder if maybe he was meant to be the guard of the prison and was dedicated to catching and eliminating prisoners who might have tried to escape. But that's really only me guessing for now until we get some more new information. And also, while this trailer is clearly centered around the red gas and of course Yarnaby, I'm curious on what What's going on with the other toys like Pianosaurus, who was also revealed in an earlier ARG clue? Maybe that will be saved for a different trailer or something, because I'm really curious. However, overall, this trailer is honestly just perfect. This is probably the best trailer we've gotten for Poppy. It's long, it's cinematic, it gives us some clues while still keeping us wondering and excited, and especially after the honestly somewhat underwhelming first Chapter 4 teaser from September that caused a lot of people to think Chapter 4 was going to be rushed, this takes things to a whole nother level, so I'm way more excited for the chapter, and if you are too, make sure to check out this video to learn even more about the upcoming game.